everyone, my name is Sarah Mari. I'm one of the librarians at Portland Public Library in Portland, Maine, and I'm here with another picture book biography for Women's History Month. Today we are learning about Mary Walker. In this book, Mary Wears What She Wants by Keith Negley. This book is published by HarperCollins Children. So here on the end page it says boy clothes and it says girl clothes. Mary wears what she wants. Once upon a time, but not too long ago, girls weren't allowed to wear pants. Can you imagine? The only thing girls could wear were uncomfortable dresses. Heavy and hot and hard to breathe in dresses. Tied too tight and can't bend over dresses. It's the way things have always been and the way things always will be, they say, and no one thought it any different. Actually, that last part's not entirely true. Mary thought that it should be different and she had an idea. A very daring idea. A great idea. Mary liked it so much that she went to town to show everybody. It was kind of a big deal. Everyone looks very surprised, don't they? And not everybody liked it. You're going to regret wearing pants, Mary Walker, they all said. No, I won't, Mary Walker said back. They're throwing eggs at her. But she kind of did. She looks really sad, doesn't she? Mary didn't understand why everyone cared so much about what she wore. They've never seen a girl wearing pants before, said her father. Some people get scared of what they don't understand. So she go back to wearing dresses, asked Mary. I didn't say that, said her father. That night, Mary didn't get a wink of sleep. You can see she's got choices to make. The next morning, Mary decided she just didn't like being told what to wear. Pants were plain better in lots of different ways. When she left for school, she discovered that she could even walk faster wearing pants. <laughs> Which Mary really appreciated. But when Mary got to school, it was more of the same. She started to worry how this was going to be, that this was how things were going to be from now on. Real girls wear dresses. No pants. Dresses forever. I'd like to go to school, please, said Mary. But you're wearing boys' clothing, they all said. I'm not wearing boys' clothes, said Mary. I'm wearing my clothes. Now, if you'll excuse me, please, I'm late for school. And with that, she pushed through the door and went inside, preparing for even more of the same. Except it wasn't the same at all. And it never was the same again. This is about Mary Edwards Walker. She was a real woman who decided that she wanted to wear pants. She was one of the first ones to be known to, to do this. She wasn't the very first one, but, um, she volunteered with the Union Army in 1861, and she was even a surgeon in the Civil War. You can see that there's an author's note where you find out a little bit more about her. And now you can see on the back that it, they've crossed out boy and girl, so both just say clothes. Because the thing is with clothes that you can wear whatever you would like to wear, as long as it feels good to you, then it's something that you can wear, whether that's pants, shorts, dresses, skirts, 
other things, overalls. I really like overalls. Uh, Mary wears what she wants, and you should too. Thank you for joining me for another picture book biography about Mary Walker this time for Women's History Month. My name is Sarah Mari. I'm one of the librarians at Portland Public Library in Portland, Maine. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye.